This is a solution for problem 5 of chapter 1. Describe the data for a correlational research study. Explain how these data are different from the data obtained in experimental and non-experimental studies, which also evaluate relationships between two variables. In section 1.3 of chapter 1, we learn the difference between data structure 1 and data structure 2. Data structure 1, or correlational studies, measure the relationship between two variables within one group. Data structure 2, or experimental and non-experimental studies, compare the scores of two or more groups. Let's look at figure 1.4 to see what a correlational study lo looks like. Here we have one group of students, A through H, Each student reported the average time they wake up and their academic performance, which in this case is measured as GPA. The researchers have labeled wake up time as the X variable and GPA as the Y variable. Section B illustrates that there is an inverse relationship between these two variables. As wake-up time increases, GPA decreases. In other words, students that tend to wake up later don't perform as well as students who wake up earlier. However, recall that we cannot conclude that wake-up time causes GPA. All we can say is that there is a strong inverse relationship between these two variables and recognize that there are other factors at play. Again, figure 1.4 illustrates that we are looking at the relationship between two variables within one group. Now, let's look at figure 1.5 to contrast how data is collected within data structure 2, in this case, an experimental study. First, we note that we are comparing two groups that have been defined by an independent variable. In this case, the independent variable is a television program that was viewed. Children were either placed in the violent television program condition or the nonviolent television program. Next, after children watched their assigned program for 30 minutes, they were observed on the playground and the number of aggressive acts in which they engage was recorded. This is the data for each participant in each condition. In this case, we are comparing the scores of two groups to test if there is a difference in the level of aggression demonstrated by the children from each condition. In short, correlational studies within data structure 1 entail observing the relationships between two variables within one group, and experimental and non-experimental studies within data structure 2 entail comparing the scores of two or more groups.